Um, oh, I just uh, probably the 90s because that was when I was uh, in high school and, and so deeply influenced by, uh, by music and inform, you know, I identified with it so much during that era, so probably the 90s. Um, my guilty pleasure, I think, is, uh, is Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tones. <laughs> um, I now have two little boys, so definitely they're, they're laughing. Sound is uh, children screaming. <laughs> uh, I just saw a songwriter in Cambridge the other night um, named Titer, T E I T U R. He's a great songwriter and singer. And he totally got me inspired in my songwriting a lot. So. Uh, I think that if I were not a musician, I would. Uh, Edit. I think I would get into filmmaking and editing. I like really working with video and the timing, sort of the musicality of cuts of video and stuff. So. Um, I always. All right. Well, now I always bring my little pick holder that goes in the mic stand so that I can. I can uh, go finger style, drop the pick, and just kind of have an infinite uh, amount of picks to grab on stage. Oh. Um. What else? I, mean, I just thought of him. I'll go with that guy, Titer. T E I T U R. That's his name. He's from the Faroe Islands, and he's a great singer songwriter that people should check out. Uh, my first concert experience was um, Candlebox and with the Flaming Lips opening for them in, in Tucson. Um, just to warm up my hands and to try and get in a space of being grateful and think of things that I'm grateful for it, kind of let the stress melt away, you know, think about all the, all the blessings I have, feel a lot less stressed out about what might go on during the show.